Yo, what up, what up? This will most likely be my final NBA 2K20 video, period. But I finally did it. No, I didn't finally do Anthony Davis. Did score him for 100K. It was a buy now. Nothing special. But what it all means is... For all my Raptors fans, it's true. It's true. Let's go into our pack market here. Half man, half amazing. Air Canada. Vincent Lamar Carter. So let's take a quick peek at him. Maybe, maybe not. Yeah, let's do this. So as a side note, I was able to score Ben Simmons for 95K by now. And Kawhi Leonard was 100K by now. Six six two twenty from the North Carolina Tar Heels. We're looking at 65 and 9. So again, with all these GOAT cards, they are amazing. Just hit pause if you want to see anything, but it's highly unlikely anyone will care about this video now except for me. But it's all about me. So, I mean, it looks like his rebounding is going to be blase. Because he's missing stuff like worm. Tendencies. So, obviously, he's a dunker. The one tendency I was going to look for, I totally forgot to, unless it hasn't shown up yet. Okay, pass interception tendency, 95. On ball steal tendency, 95. That, my friends, is good. So we'll be looking for 99s probably most. Yes, I will be crazy and get a shoe if there is a 98. Oh, that's too easy. That's too easy. I can totally get a shoe that will cover those 97s. Is that the only 97s? The rest are 99? Is that what I saw? I am obviously too broke at the moment, but I will put those 97s to a 99 with a diamond shoe. In my world, I've officially won the game. And ultimately, what does this all mean? What this means is this now gets replaced. And there is your legacy team. There's only one person I'm missing. I can't remember who he was, but he was an Emerald. Uh, Jamario Moon. The requirements I had for these teams is they had to have the Raptors logo. So yes, I do have the Kawhi Leonard, obviously. Both the Prime and the NBA is back. But I wanted the Raptors logos on these cards. Obviously, maxed out the... Uh, evolution requirements for all these a lot of them already have diamond shoes but they don't have diamond contracts 
even if they're the low ends i likely will put on diamond contracts if indeed i do decide to continue playing the game so in certain cases like demar de rosen actually does wear kobe shoes so the purple looked great matched with the old raptors dino uniforms plus it's a kobe Kawhi Leonard, before he went with New Balance, he used to wear Air Jordans, so that was a perfect three-point shoe for him. Bosch, I don't know. That was already on the shoe when I got it. Nothing special there with Shamari's shoe. Terrence Ross used to wear the KD 12s, I want to believe, and that's a 13. I don't think there's any significance with Morris Peterson. No significance with Oakley. Same with Bayless. I just kind of went with shoes matching team uniform colors. Danny Green does wear a different shoe, but this one actually ended up working better for his statistics. And, no, he wears Pumas, but I had to use a Nike shoe. That's what it was. And then for all of you who forget... This is the current Raptors roster. Yes, I have Serge Ibaka. Like I've said before, I did evolve him to Opal, but he does not have the Raptors logo on that card. That is the OKC one. Again, same thing. Kyle Lowry now wears the um, Harden 4s. So I did use the Harden 3s, which helped him with dunk stats. Van Vliet, before he went to and one, he used to wear the Hardens. No significance with OG. Pascal had that shoe when I bought him. Marcus Saul does wear those Nikes. It's one of the few people that I don't mind in those shoes. When you wear the Dino uniforms, and if it's a large person, because that's what I didn't like with the shoes, is the pink laces, actually. And they look goofy on smaller people, I think. But they actually look pretty good in the purple Dino unis. Uh, no significance there. I'm trying to find some diamond contract cards to replace with these and then i'll put real shoes on no significance with him but just good for the stats but yeah that is it that is officially all of the toronto raptors the best ones i could possibly get and really like i said i have no reason to play the game anymore but uh anyone who's playing 2k21 maybe leave a comment below tell me what you think of it so far is it just a microtransaction haven do you find the graphics any better, which I doubt, until at least it goes to PS5, which I don't even think that'll make much of a difference. Maybe a bit of layering. And uh, if it's actually a good game, I may consider start doing that game too. But as it stands, I have zero interest in buying any more 2K games. But uh, maybe you guys can influence me. And uh, if I do do it, I will start editing videos and actually making an effort in this because we are on our way to i don't know 200 and something subscribers <laughs> so uh as for always thanks for watching and uh keep your grind game strong